Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little something a little different on the channel. Uh, usually I do in real life pack openings, this time with the uh, launch of MLB The Show that came out this weekend. I uh, figured I'd open up a 50 pack bundle. Uh, I play the game pretty casually. I enjoy it usually every year, play Dying Dynasty and all that stuff. I'm a very average player, maybe even potentially a little bit below average, but I still have fun playing the game uh, each year. Uh, I enjoy it, so I figured, you know, rip a 50 pack bundle see what we get um, basically we're looking for diamond cards which are the highest rated cards that you can use in, in the game uh, on diamond dynasty teams so pretty much and then this year they did something different where you know as we all know we always are opening up packs chasing cards for example so they did a chase pack where this pack actually has one particular card you can chase plus there's you know golds and uh, diamonds in it as well so let's see what we get hopefully we get lucky maybe some diamond pools um, you know pretty much you got your ratings of common bronze silver golds and uh, diamonds so our best pull here uh, looks to be a 72 uh, bronze uh, Lucas Lutich I believe you pronounce his name and then each pack also too gives you some sort of uh, equipment item uh, banner uh, a uniform, all different kind of stuff like that for anybody that may be, you know, on my channel watching this for something a little bit different. So a couple of more bronzes, nothing crazy, Montgomery Biscuits, uh, the Rays Double A team, I believe, their uniform. So we do get a, go, uh, uh, sorry, we do get a diamond, it's a uniform though, uh, Cincinnati Reds, their 1914 Rhodes. Um, then just a couple of bronzes, nothing too wild there. Let's see what we get next pack. Silver, Emilio Pagan, okay, not too bad. And then these are also um, home run animations for when you're uh, crossing home plate. You can load on to a player if you play like Road to the Show and stuff like that, which I don't play too, too much of, maybe a little bit here and there, but nothing too, too wild. And then you can also get stadiums as well to uh, use in Diamond Dynasty as well. So Coors Field, probably one of the most expensive stadiums actually for um, regular MLB ballparks, so another uh, silver stadium that's pretty much it right there Daniel Lynch our highest rated card uh, we do get a gold uh, uniform Giants batting practice we do get our first gold Javi Baez okay uh, he is the highest rated uh, Tiger out of the live series collection and then this game too uh, the one thing I like about it too is they do uh, they do purchase the rights of uh, former players if they're legends or players that re recently retired like you could play with like Babe Ruth Ken Griffey Jr. and, and players like that too which um, I usually have a lineup usually consisting of players more of when uh, I was watching uh, baseball you know kind of growing up so um, oh we do get a diamond though so let's see what we get maybe we can get lucky with somebody high rated this one's a, with it being the pink background I think they're one of the lower rated ones uh, near Mets I think it's probably going to be Starling Marte. Uh, yep, it looks to be. Uh, that's fine. I'll take it. Um, usually the Mets Live Series collection is one of the first ones that I usually do every year. So. so so, with this now, they put an extra chase pack within that slot. So we do get two of these chase packs now, um, which is kind of kind of neat in a way with, with what they do so you're kind of getting a chase pack within the packs so and I can see we have two of those but we'll save those for the very end so nothing crazy there uh, Yanni Diaz our highest rated player there for the Rays another silver Whit Merrifield for the Royals is our highest rated player Just a couple, of, just one bronze actually. Brian Holiday, another uh, stadium as well. Some common players. I'm not going to name off all the common players. Do we get a gold? Rafael Iglesias, or Rafael Iglesias, excuse me. Um, one of the higher rated angels, not the highest rated. Obviously, Mike Trout is the highest uh, rated player in the game for the Live Series collection. And then Otani's pretty high up there. I don't know how high he is off the top of my head. He may be top 15 ish of over of overall ratings at least um i would actually have to double check that myself i'm not even too sure but just a couple of uh bronzes here nothing too wild another silver will myers for the padres so nothing really there kellenic uh kyle 
Farmer, our two highest rated players there. Jake Myers and Charlotte Knights jersey. Another diamond. All right, so we got lucky. Diamonds also, too. They're 1 in 50 packs, so we've defeated the odds, kind of, in a way. Uh, do get an angel diamond here. Hey, we got Otani. Okay. Perfect. Uh, 93 overall. Uh, like I said, I'd have to actually double check um, the ratings. I don't really have all the uh, ratings memorized uh, off the top of my head, but I mean, he goes for. If I could sell him right this second for 128,000 stubs. Um, and then this bundle cost me uh, 75,000 stubs. So I made. Technically, I made my stubs back, uh, plus plus a lot more, plus a lot of these duplicates I'll sell on the uh, the market. So uh, there's a potential that I could probably have received twice the value um, of my stubs back, uh, in a way. So, but like I said, it's a, it's a fun game. I enjoy this every year. I try to do a live series collection where uh, if you collect all the players from one team, you get a, a certain player item. Uh, based to that team, the rating of that player is kind of based on how easy or hard the live series collection is able to uh, complete. Then they have ones for divisions, one for each of the league. So like for example, the National League is Roberto Clemente this year. Um, for the AL, if you collect all the AL live series players, it's Frank Thomas. And then once you collect every live series card uh, tied to the physical teams, there's also a free agent version as well. Um, Yuri Gurriel, uh, gold, so I'll gladly take that. Uh, Randy Johnson is the big collection reward for the live series. So, you know, my goal is to obtain Randy Johnson. But, uh, you know, so we'll see. Yerman Mercedes are uh, highest rated there. Another Montgomery Biscuits uniform. They usually have your home and away uh, jerseys as well. You can put them on your teams. Dominic Smith, highest rated player there. Good another gold. Tyler Glass now. So, so for, for example, with the uh, in the lower right hand corner, you don't see a logo tied to it. Glass now being hurt, so they kind of put him on the free agent roster currently as of now. Once he gets reactivated to the 40 man, then they'll move him over to the team and stuff like that. So, uh, Josh Harrison, Wade Miley, not too bad there. So, this actually pack opening's actually been pretty decent. Uh, for myself, so I'm pretty, I'm very happy with how this has gone so far. Helps me get a little jump start on trying to uh, complete collections and stuff. So I, Jonathan India, that's actually a pretty high valued uh, silver. Uh, Drew Smith, Kikuchi. So we got 11 packs left, plus two of the chase packs. So chase packs, I believe, are guaranteed at least a gold. You could get a diamond as well. Nothing too crazy there as well. Another gold, Jose Abreu. Okay. We've actually been doing... This is actually one of the better 50-card bundles that I've ever opened in any of the games that... Or any of the years that I've played this. And I know also, too, seeing you know some people post stuff on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that where they haven't had too much luck. Where if you can open up a 50-pack bundle, you can't... Be, you're, they say the pack odds are 1 in 50, but you're not even guaranteed a diamond. There's no guarantee of a diamond. So there's been people that's opened 50-pack bundles and not received the diamond, which I know has happened to me in previous years as well. Alex Wood for the Giants is our highest-rated player there. Uh, we got Brett Gardner, our highest-rated there. You got Smiro Petit. Uh, let's see. Uh, Victor Robles. Luis Garcia, a couple of uh, nationals there. Three packs left. Sheldon Noyce for the Athletics. Ali Sanchez, the two wilds. Another gold, Ryan Mountcastle. Okay, helps out with uh, attempting to finish off the Orioles collection. I, I've done, I think, only three of the collections so far, some of the lower end ones. Um, Anthony Santander, another 
uh, Oriole to help out with the uh, finishing up the collection. And all right, chase packs. So here's the two chase packs. Uh, odds one in fifteen of a oh okay one of fifteen of a ninety plus player, one in two of an eighty five plus diamond player, and then gold. So you guarantee at least one gold. A diamond is one in two. Okay, so we do get a diamond at least. Let's see what we get here. Uh, pink, pinkish, purplish background. Lower end. Kansas City. Uh, Salvador Perez. Okay. I'm glad to take that. That should be fine with me. Goes for 18,000 stubs. I'm perfectly happy with that. And last pack, just a gold. So, uh, Galalos for the Cardinals. So, not too bad. Uh, so, overall, like I said, pack opening went pretty well. I'm happy with the results. If you liked what you saw, appreciate if you leave a like on the video. Leave any comments also too on MLB The Show. Uh, let me know if you play it. Do you play it, pick it up every year? Do you play Diamond Dynasty? Do you play casually online? Do you play franchise? You know, any of those kind of stuff. Uh, I usually watch a lot of, uh, I watch a couple of streamers that also too that play this game as well. Daddy Dimu is probably one of my favorites personally. There's a whole bunch of them that are actually really good too. Uh, they do pack openings. They do no, no money spent series and stuff like that um but anyway and then if you, if you came across this video because of it being mlb the show appreciate if you subscribe hit that notification bell if you ever want to see any real life pack openings we open a lot of tops products and a lot of different baseball products that get released all throughout the year so greatly appreciate if you subscribe and then hit that notification bell for any of my future uploads and then with that i do want to thank you guys for watching appreciate you guys you know hanging out here for something a little bit different for my channel at least and uh, with that i want to thank you guys again for watching have a great day.